Welcome back to the reality, guys. I'm your host, Billy Blinks, joined as always by my co-host, Brian. What's up, everybody? And Brett. What's up? Hell's up? We are back to talk the challenge, ride or dies. This is episode six. So really a kind of a few through lines throughout this episode that really defined this week. Uh, a big one being Jay and Michelle. I mean, it's kind of unavoidable. Uh, Jay and Michelle, obviously, last week winning, throwing a team in. Uh, Laurel feels weird coming back, obviously, winning. And it was good, but it's, you know, a little bit of an icky feeling there with Michelle. Um, also with Jay and Michelle later in the episode. And we will get into all the details, but winning another weekly challenge and antagonizing basically the entire vet squad in the house or at least the core vet squad in my opinion um really interesting how they've become really center figures i really wasn't expecting that um brian i want to get kind of get your reaction i know you're kind of watch, not watching as much uh but you kind of ch checking in this week what did you think and then brett obviously you've been watching every week with us want to get your reaction to them as a team and then we'll kind of go into the details of the week so I have been watching every week. I just don't participate because I just know who wins. Uh, Jay and Michelle, I mean, Jay, I feel like always finds himself in situations every season where Pete just be does anything he can to be hated. Uh, he, I, but I also at the same time, I don't, the things they did, I don't have an issue with. Like you, when you have to put in half the house every week, like what are you supposed to do? And like, and this is one of my biggest gripes with the show this season is like, the vets get offended by everything you do. Like you're going to offend somebody no matter what they take it personally. Like you killed a relative. Like, I cannot believe you put me in. It's like, well, what is he supposed to do? Like, I wish you put Johnny and Nani in. Like, that's what I would have done. If I like, you got to get rid of the people who are the best. So I'm not mad with what he did, the way the people react. I just think it's at this point, it's a game show for money. Like stop being like this. Yeah, I mean, I, I agree more so, though, with uh, Michelle. So, like, the title was Come Michelle or High Water, which I like the title name because I feel like dealing with her is hell because she's trying to steamroll their decisions and she's making really shitty ones. Like, I guess I Laurel's, a threat to, Laurel's a threat to her, I guess, but um, they backstab uh, Jack or whatever, who was Jay's friend, and they're do playing this, like, middle ground game of trying to appease the vets but still having to put some of them in right. and then – essentially really targeting the rookies anyways which they should be teaming up with the rookies uh, because the vets mm -hmm. even if they kiss the vets ass all the way to the end the vets None of them like them. have them at the bottom of you know right. their priority list so i think um yeah he put what he put casey and nani and bananas in which i think was the right decision but i think they should have put uh one of those teams directly into the elimination completely and, agree I think they should have got to go full in. If you you're going to do, do it. it, just do it. Put, yeah. put listen, just put bananas in. Just put them in. No one will think you're putting Nani in. Just put bananas in. And yeah. we'll get to Nani, by the way. We're going to get to Nani. You're so I, annoying. Yeah, thank you. We'll get to Nani. Not yet, but we will get to Nani pretty quickly. I think they screwed themselves, though, before that, because they basically, I think they were about to build an alliance with at least Jordan and Anissa, which they should have done that one and not pissed off Jordan. Terrible. But once they pissed them off, they kind of had to put Jordan in. Right. I think Jordan, they need to be careful, right? Jordan, like now all of a sudden they're saying like, I have, he's like, I was chicken. What was like, find the chill. But now like you've lit a fire under my butt. I hope he doesn't over pursue this feud, right? It's just like you said, Brian, it's going to just come naturally. Half the house gets put in every day. Right. It doesn't matter. So you get, take care coming, of the big fish. I don't think Jordan needs to like overextend themselves and try to put yourselves in the, like you guys, there's a feud already. Like you guys are just going to put each other in all season. It's already established. And like you said, Brian Jay, just like there's that, that, that TV character part in him. Like yeah. he wants to be in it. He like, even like, because when he starts to try to explain himself, like in the interrogations, when people ask him questions, he says the dumbest things that make no sense. And like, yeah, we'll get into him. Yeah. And he was like that, honestly on survivor too. I can't Jay's I knew him before challenge. I knew him on challenge. And then I finally got to the season on survivor and he just is the same exact person. I was just like, it, nothing has changed over a decade. Let's go over the weekly challenge um, down the line. I really, I like this one. I thought this one had a couple cool layers. Uh, you had to dig out two puzzle puzzle piece bags. So when you got the first bag, one of the players would run all the way down to the bottom of a zip line platform. And you had a crank basically this weighted ball on the zip line, the more you cranked it, the further down the weight would go, which means the second person, once they got the second bag, would go to the top of the zip line, go all the way down, have to swim over. Then you had to do the word puzzle. 
Uh, I thought it was cool. I, I mean, again, it, it's like the survivor joke, like something always ends in a puzzle, mm-hmm. but this one was a little different. The crank thing I haven't seen. I can't remember at least seeing that one before. So nice little change to it. Um, some notes that I had from there. Oh, also done in two heats as well. Um, the bananas and Nani arguing. I thought it was really funny. I thought bananas be like, this is what a vowel is. And like, I thought he was just trying to make light of like what, like, them doing semi not great but then there's Nani I, I'm going to start with this I'm not trying to be a jerk like I understand like the main thing of Nani seasons her mom passed away and like she's coming on and that's where I'm going to end right there with like, the positive I mean, you're coming on the challenge to grieve like what is wrong with you dude are you kidding and fine whatever that's cool too like there's plenty of people on reality TV uh, a sister dies a father dies a wife a, whatever and they go through it but she's so intense, man. She's so intense, not just here, but even later on. Like, she thinks she's Don Corleone with, like, her threats. Like, if my girlfriend goes in, I will have a problem. It's like, dude, shut up, Nani. I have nothing nice you're, to say about Nani. You're Nani. You're Nani. You are, like, the lovable loser. Like, you're Nani. You're not. Put her girlfriend in. Tough. Don't go on a show where your girlfriend's on. Hey, your exactly. Like... I mean, just shut up at this point. It's it, it just, what are you supposed to do? No one cares about your relationship except you. It's pretty crazy when even Johnny is going like mid interrogation, like, dude, like they're doing us a favor. Like they're telling us why they're doing it, but they know that we have like a two out of three chance of not going in. They're not throwing either of us in automatically. So like we have to get really screwed. Right. Like, all right, what are we going to do? It's- right. I just know the game. Like you well, guys you see that the rules. Having what? like do, those two teams getting put in, do you think that's a favor because they can basically save each other? Yeah. Because- are risking going in that's very true it is listen there's part of it that is kind of it like they could have thrown in like you know Darrell's team they could have thrown in like the other randoms but I, like you said i don't they're not i wish like they would just say like jay gets like halfway there just be like none of you guys are ever going to ever vote positively for me ever so you know yeah, what I know, all I four know. of you can go in one of these will be gone one less of you that are like gonna hate me like you don't like me anyway all good like and guess what? If I throw any more damn rookie teams in, they're all gonna throw me in too. So I gotta, I gotta make a choice here. Like, yeah, Johnny, we're not gonna be friends. Like, I'm not gonna be friends with Laurel. I'm not gonna be friends with like really. Like, the CT was on the season. You know, any of these people. Like, you're not gonna be friends with Tori. Like, Devin. Like, yeah, they they act like they. This is the first time I've ever played the challenge where it's like you're gonna piss people off. So I just. Like, and you said it best, but like once the, the rookies are gone, they're going to vote you in anyway. So why are you going to what you should get rid of the vets if you're Jay, because the rookie you're going to side with the rookies. It's it just you're the lowest hanging vet. So I, I it's the same love- thing every single season. We get rid of the, the rookies. Then we get rid of the people. We don't know. Yeah, exactly. Yet. So it's just like, get- I, why do these people so dumb that they they act like air tactics? The, the vets stupid like air the rookies watch the show back dude they're more famous than the rookies so the rookies look up to them and i don't work so dumb just I want one season people. where we see like a culling where like they just oh like banana's gone ct gone west gone jordan gone like right off the bat like slice 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 and like i would be fine with like a final five or six teams where none of them have ever won and they're like mostly rookie teams whatever it'd be different good, yeah it would be cool. Like the other teams will come back. Like that's, they're not going anywhere. These people, like if we keep cutting these rookie teams so damn early, you never get new characters, right? Like you have to be like someone like cam or like C- maniac turbo or like some of these people, like you have to like really make a presence to keep coming back. And like, I feel like they got to open it up more. That's why I thought that I like the idea of this season, bringing some people in at least making them tied to some vets. So we have some rookies, but like, at the end of the day, like, what happens if, like, Casey's brother becomes, like, a really popular guy? Well, he's always on the Nani, Casey, Banana. You know what I mean? You're just adding to the existing mm-hmm. already, right? Like, like I, yeah, I, and I, Amber what, B what, won the, recently, and we don't even see her. She gets no camera time, and she's a winner. So I mean, They're, like, the dark horse team because they are just completely under the radar. Yeah. And, uh, Amber is good. Amber B's good. Well, Amber. Final. And her boyfriend probably is too. So they're like, uh, they're a yeah, team they're, you never hear them, anybody talking bad about them. You never like, I don't know. I just, it, I just don't, they have like this, like goldfish memories when they go on these seasons. Uh, yeah. I, my favorite part though, I mean, to be fair again, I, we're not, I'm really not anti any of the J Michelle moves. 
I do like that Jordan just chirped from the second he was in his interrogation all the way through being nominated all the way while competing and after the challenge. Like he dude, he's just like over Jay. He does not like him like just not one bit. And now whatever, like tough. Right. And I don't think Jordan's losing any sleep over it. Right. He's just like, I don't like this guy, but like yeah. gotta be careful. Go over pursue. I say don't over pursue. Right. Like, yeah, uh, yeah. Don't. When you're putting in half, like just if you have three people you want in, you're like, what fourth can we fill in? That's when you put in Jay and Michelle, because somebody else is going to do it if you don't win. So like, you, somebody could do the work for you. I can consistently see them being thrown in every week now. Yeah, like whatever. Three, four weeks, whatever. It's the point of the show, like, don't be offended by it. The rookies um, will probably even throw them in at this point. Yeah, to appease the vets. Yeah, they're they're because the they're, they're the heat magnet right now, yeah. right? Like it's like a wrestling mm-hmm. that like they're the ones taking all the attention. So just keep throwing them in. It's like the low hanging fruit, right? Yep. Like draw heat away from yourself, appease the the crowd, right? Mm-hmm. Um, they should be thrown in the four vets at this point every time if uh, they win. Bananas goes in. Yeah, I just Jordan goes in. Goes in. Bananas. I think you put in the, the the three strongest dudes every time because somebody's going to take somebody out. That's what I would do. If Jordan I bananas. And then like Darrell. banana should be in there every week. You should drill in like every week yeah, too. Yeah. Like uh, that's what I would do. Why are you ignoring these? They're just dumb. Like- they're dumb. Honestly, they're dumb people. Um, in your face was the elimination challenge. Laurel and Jack versus Nisa and Jordan. Nani had the first first safe dagger pull of the season, I believe. First pull. I don't think anyone else do we, got it. Do we believe this to be um, reality yeah. or maybe altered reality? Because I felt like it was very convenient that the dagger was right in front of her and maybe mm-hmm. someone whispered into her ear. Oh, no, I, I, Brad, I agree with you. I haven't been on this. I don't like this dagger thing. I think it can be all, like you said, it can be manipulated. Yeah. It should be like a weird like They want yeah. Nani to win. They let Nani go first and they put it right in front of her face. Yeah. No, so Brad, I completely agree with you. I think it's stupid that that wasn't act. a lot of surprise on their face either. It wasn't like, oh, it was like, oh, it, couldn't it be better to like a different color? Like, it just looks like it was like safe, like written by a person, like with like, it just, it you know what it should be. Better, actually, it like, shouldn't, okay. Feel me out here. All right. This might be a little controversial. Everyone. So if you take the person. dagger, right, it shouldn't say safe. You should have to take the dagger. And yeah, stab, you stab yourself. yourself with it, and if it's the safe dagger, it's actually a toy dagger. Yeah, and it like that and, like full. slides in. Yeah, but the other <laughs> one you get a, but like we'll make it a smaller dagger, so it's not like a, a murder. Like your dagger, you still have to go in there like Maximus and still like actually perform yeah. after you get stabbed. But like I, that's that's just a crazy idea. Just trying to mix it. I like that I idea. It, actually, it doesn't translate to the screen as well with the writing because you can't see it half the time as blood. Right. Yeah. They like yeah. have to like turn it. They're like, oh, see, it's white, shirts. white shirts, white shirts. <laughs> well, before it was like you flipped over the thing and it had an X, or you picked it up and it like dropped. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's just dumb. Maybe mine's I'm running out of ideas. Hey, I'm you know, know what it is? Just send the person that lost the challenge in every week, and somebody picks the person. That, that's what they need to do. Yeah, make the weekly challenge. Go back to the basics. A little more. Go back to the losing. basics. Yeah. I mean, I don't really have any gripes really about it too much, but I do like this one just gave me weird vibes that it was altered and not. Yeah, no, Brett, totally. I, I'm, I'm with you. I, I felt the same thing when I was watching. I was like, mm, that's really convenient. Uh oh. Uh, in your face was the challenge. It was blocks. You had to get a bunch of cinder blocks and pile them on top of your cage, which had a bunch of dodgeballs in them. Um, after the second, once you had all your cinder blocks on top of the block, the cage that would open up, all your balls would come out. You could play one person play offense, one person play defense. There were 10 targets. They looked like you were playing Quidditch uh, with everyone's <laughs> face in the middle. And you had to, if you were defense, you were the goalie. If you were offense, you're trying to knock out all the targets, first hit out all the targets, win. There, I had some, like, couldn't you just stand in front of like one of them, right? Like on the ground and they would never score, right? Like, Go ahead, bro. get all other nine. I'll I'll outlash. I'm just gonna literally sit here for and ten hours. Like, am I crazy? Is there maybe there's like a rule they told yeah, you to do that? It seemed like Anissa was almost doing when she was just standing right in front of like one or two and completely blocking it. Yeah, and she was like a separate Jordan, two out too, which was Jordan was like smart. moving. I guess Jordan's strategy is he was bouncing around strategically he was like to make eye faking him move yeah. so that Jack. So like that, the final two would be far away. So Jack would have to choose one side yeah. or the other. That's that. That's what I was thinking the entire time. I also like somebody's like, "Yo, give him the high ball where you like in dodgeball. You throw that one up in the air and then you try to hit him. Fake him out. 
Yeah. Well, that's how he got the last one because I was yeah. like, at that point, I was like, well, if there's one left, the dude's just gonna block it. But apparently, he lobbed it over his head. He did. He yeah. just like. Yeah. Did you have to get every one of them? I thought that you you could get everyone but one. Was that what it was? I said it's a I 10 think it was target. 10 out of 10. It was you had to get all 10. Okay. I thought it was five well, one, and five. One of them wasn't on fire, but he broke it. So I didn't yeah, know if he could right. redo it, but um, he was done. Anissa played great. I think that was edited. I think that was, I, I, to, in my opinion, I don't think that was as close to the, as it appeared. Do you think Laurel just like wasn't literally just like didn't hit a damn target? It like, just it just didn't seem like they, they, they milked these. Laurel wasn't throwing very well, and Jordan was just throwing, you know, beamers. He, he, he had some heat on some of those. I'm threads. never picking Laurel. For Jordan's like a legit game. athlete who plays case. ball sports, so he can throw. I don't know what Laurel's done, but other than just being a monster. But, I think she's I mean, crazy, but she she just she gets in her own head. Like, she gets in her own head too much. And yeah, just, she gets too hot. Like too. I just can't. Yeah, the, the Horatio stuff she cared way too much about. And guess what? The kiss of death. The kiss of oh, literal death. I want to talk about this. Messy fessy. It was the Why siren's did... kiss. <laughs> it was the death, like a Dementor. Yeah. Like the, the Dementor's kiss, Fessy's kiss on Laurel's. I wrote it down as live. I said, Laurel just kissed Messy Fessy. No, Dementor, death. She's 100% going in and losing. I wrote it down. That's what happened. Why do so many people want to be with him? Girth. It's tall. Has nice hair. That's a surreal life reference. I mean, but we have hit. We have we have hours and hours of content. These people obviously watch back. They don't watch their own show. Yeah, which is dumb. I mean, we, we yeah we deal with that too. But um, I just I I don't understand the obsession with Fessy at all. I don't understand like why these girls are like even the 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 German mole girl. She was like, oh, I want to talk with Fessy. I'm like, why? <laughs> why? Don't get it. Don't understand it. Who, who else is she gonna go for? Anybody else? Horatio, like, is a good look. There's a bunch of other guys about to me. Nobody are, and just yeah, or nobody. Yes, win exactly. some money. Game. Like, win some money, sure. maybe. Yeah, the same thing with Nelson. Make friends like, with Nelson. people. You don't need to bang. Not Fessy. Again, you just, the Dementor. I can't even. And That's Nelson also, like, he horn, he horn dog, he, Nelson horn dogs it up, like, all the time, too. It's like, dude, like, I it's really not working. I, I would give it a shot if the opportunity presented itself. Not Of course you would. That's literally why you want to get on the show. I to be the, I'll be messy, Brett. I'll, I'll go for it. <laughs> Brett's going to come on and it's going to be, like, his first confession. He'll be like, hey, I'm Brett from Georgia. Uh you know, I know I'm a rookie and I'm going to get targeted and thrown in like week one. So I'm hoping to just like bang somebody at least week one. So like, at least I get something like. Yeah, but it wouldn't be like your 10th time, like Fessy or Nelson. Like, it's just like they need to. The fourth stop. girl this season. Yo, how about this? Way, I'm throwing all the bets in because fuck How about this? Focus on winning. If you're a winner, go for it. But they haven't won anything. So like, why are you. Just it's a loser mentality. He's a loser. He's a loser. It's a loser mindset. Who's the most bet girl I can try to pursue? And try I mean, to it's Tori. I, I, you Anissa. Can get with Tori. Anissa, Anissa. There you go. And I haven't been on this podcast yet, but man, Tori annoys the ever living shit out of me every week, which is, oh, you throw my girl and you say it. I'm coming after you. Me and Jordan got divorced. I still love Jordan. Shut up. I'm sick of you. She ran up and hugged him right away. They're yeah, going to get out of here. I'm done with her. I've been done with her, but I've been, I'm extra done with her. Get out of my face. <laughs> Brian, Brian, I'm just sick of her, man. In this season. I think everyone's Tori. blinded by that she's like an attractive blonde, but get out of my face. I just, I'm done with it. her personality. She's entertaining to watch, but I feel like maybe dealing her with be, would be she's annoying. Bad. Yes, she's I very annoying. Like Tori. It's like I, I, you know who I like? I like Devin. I've liked Devin like. since day one. Devin's my dude. Back, Back from Ari the one day. From when she watches, she knows. Yeah, Devin was stayed the loyal. best guy on Ari the one. Yeah, stayed loyal so much better than the Tori. The Fessy thing, I would never, I would still try. Yeah, okay, yeah, she she likes Fessy. Sorry, she should be off your radar. I I, I know. Well, we can work through this. No. But who likes Fessy? We probably won't. We'll figure it out. Tori, I mean, she hooked up with him. I, I, don't, it was a revenge. I don't know. I don't know, Brian. <laughs> I just wrote down <laughs> Fessy's quote. He said, Laurel gets what she wants and she wants me. I thought that was funny. But also, I thought it was funny that apparently Laurel was a girl that he didn't have time for, and that that's why she went after Horatio. And then I also he, noticed that it's back to being Fessy again. <laughs> that's because he's established, that, so it's easier to facial, remember. Like facial, that ended quick. Oh, also, I did. I I meant to bring that up like last week. I wasn't on, but like I did. Someone looked up what that means in 
in Arabic and it's not what he says it means. It's it are, we, are we surprised by that? The guy like it actually means shit. like stubborn. He probably smells his own crap. Like he's he's a weirdo. Takes pictures. Um <laughs> <laughs> special edition here first time coming uh, i should have mentioned at the top of the episode probably would have made a lot more sense but uh combined episode here now going forward we'll have some kind of catchy title probably for this show uh you know tribal challenge i don't know we'll figure it out but we're going to combine challenge and survivor each week two elimination shows two that we like to cover a lot of times it's going to be the same cast so we are going to be doing them together Basically, we have too many videos each week and we need to figure out ways to condense some things together because we don't want to we actually want to cover more stuff and not less. And uh, we don't want to screw up the algorithm, apparently. So we're, we're working on things. Uh, but check part for part two. Uh, myself, Brian and Brett will be there for that part. Uh, but for now, in case you're hopping off, I'm upset with you. But thank you. Peace. Watch Survivor. It's amazing. Welcome back to the reality, guys. This is part two of our extravaganza. Still haven't named the show. Tribal Survivor, whatever the hell we're going to call it. I don't know. Challenge. Uh, Rider Tribal Council. We'll figure this one out. Um, we are talking Survivor 43. This is episode nine. What about the big girls? Um, this episode, a lot of ways, was defined by a feud. Um, Owen is real mad at James, real mad at James for being told by James going into the last vote and lying about who they were supposed to vote for. Uh, I think Owen is more mad at James than all women in the United States are at Taylor Swift and Ticketmaster. Very Get over it, dude. Who? Right? Who, who are we getting over? The women or the... Uh... I think Owen needs to get over but Well, yeah, they need to get over that too. <laughs> but I mean, yeah. I think Owen needs to just... It's Survivor, dude. They should have honestly done a tag team where they start working together and act like they hate each other and then would, like took it to the next level. That's what they should have done, but they didn't do that. Didn't like Wes and way. Bananas do that on the challenge one year? They like yeah. pretended like they weren't like, hanging out. People have done that in Survivor. They, they just teamed up. I forget what the outcome was, but they legit teamed up once. Their I think last Wes, Wes ruined it by doing something stupid, like throwing them in when they didn't need to. Did. Uh, I, I, I like Owen's like, I don't know. Like, I don't know where this came from. I mean, I didn't think, I mean, he's kind of been a vocal player, right? But well, it came from Owen voted for James. Yeah, twice. Twice. And well, I don't know like, why he did that. But like, also going back to like, a, I, I forgot until I heard other people talk about it was uh, James, Owen, and Noel all went on the journey together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. they and, that. you know, we're supposed to like form an alliance or something, but they all ended up somehow like backstabbing one another. Well, they let them, they like, were nice and let her have the advantage. And now it's like, oh, it's going to backfire on me. Uh, they jumped right into the challenge this week, which I liked. Um, it was going to be two separate challenges with five members in each of the challenges. Uh, it was going to set up two tribal councils. I always like when that, I love this, the random two tribal councils. I do like when it's split, it really does change the dynamic up. So there are going to be two immunity winners. However, two eliminated players this week which i also love uh mm -hmm. really kind of speeding up the momentum of the season but it's also doubles as a reward challenge for whoever the overall winner was you had to basically bicep curl up like a half curl to keep a bowling ball pressed with a piece of metal up against a piece of wood so just really like an endurance challenge i mean how heavy do you think the ball i mean bowling balls what like probably eight ten pounds probably nothing like crazy I don't even think the ball matters. I think it's you got to hold that like it's just the level. Have you yeah. ever done like a, a, like curls where you just hold the weight? I mean that. Ball yeah, yeah, yeah I've done pounds. those ones where you do like seven, like half up, like seven yeah. half down. So that's what that kind of rem reminded me of, like twenty ones. Well, you had to like have constant pressure against the two, so you couldn't even like yeah, you couldn't it. like shake. It had to be past ninety. So you had to be like constantly contracting the muscle by pushing to some extent like carla she wasn't even doing the curl she was just straight up getting like underneath it and just like yeah and she basically it. squatted it yeah cody also had a good idea too he was like using his back a lot which i thought was nice like he was leaning back and not using all arms and i think you like that's how it can be an equalizer because obviously no one a lot of people don't have huge biceps but you can use the rest of your body to lean back almost like you're doing a deadlift kind of right. and I let your challenge weight hold the thing yeah right. right not your all your arms that's how your arms are gonna get tired but they've been heavy on the endurance challenges this season 
a lot of yeah, it's just the equalizer if so, like you're not super strong it's the way it, but i'm fine with it i actually really like these are the best challenges in my yeah mind. the best ones are like the endurance test the yeah, test anyone can win it, like they scale it by your body weight like i i enjoy this uh we had two winners like i said an overall winner which we all thought was pretty surprising uh what, what do we have? Who was the first winner? Cody. Cody, yeah. Cody beats Ryan, and the, the team wins the PB and J. Uh, that was in his. And then Carla beat Sammy to win the first heat. So Carla and uh, Cody, that's where you got with Carla. What about the big girl's comment? I'm super shocked she won that, too. That was impressive. Really? So, yeah. yeah, she, she looked like she was like, like about to go. Body type to win, you know, competitions like that. Well, her body was also like like Bill was saying she was like contorted, like she was like like under just squatting, like doing weird stuff. So it's like, yeah, it was strange, but good for her. We get back to the uh, to the beach, then the Owen versus James debate reignites. They still have beef. There was a funny line. Does anyone want a papaya? <laughs> While yeah. in the middle of the fight, I thought that was very funny. Um, I'll ask you guys here: Is Owen going too hard at James? I don't know, man. Like you, you're stuck with these people all day and hungry. I think anything can piss you off. So we only know what we saw. Um, we don't know what was said. Like when the cameras are not edited out. Like if you're with somebody for that long and you don't like each other, I think you find any reason to be like this person sucks. Makes sense. I think there was just no coming back at this point. Like yeah. they had already established they didn't trust each other and they wanted each other gone. So like, what's the point of being passive aggressive? Just like you know. Um, on the other side we've talked about cassidy a little bit especially kind of like on our side text and stuff i think really been playing a really good game like she said she always ends up on the right side of the vote but she definitely was the other target besides ryan for the second group Uh, we go into the tribals um interesting dynamic there as well before we actually talk about the tribals how did you feel about the camp life for that group it, it, I mean, to me, it was just there because everyone's focused on James and Owen. Like, yep. again, I don't know why they voted. Like, the votes have been the way they've been. Like, you should be like Ryan should have been gone probably last week. If if I was a player, why? I mean, I feel like Ryan's a good guy, especially if you're already aligned with Ryan. Why not bring him to the end? Because he's not smart. He's like the Jonathan this season, but he might be dumber. And yeah, but it's gonna keep giving you fish and drag him to the end and. I guess like the same with Xander too. Like people aren't rewarding these physical threats anymore that aren't. No, I, I agree with you. I, I, but if I'm going to play with these new people, uh, I I would get rid of, I guess. And then yeah. I thought Cassidy was going home because they finally gave her a confessional or, or like a back. Yeah, it's sad. That's yeah. what it comes to like, who's getting the most screen time. That's how we're going to decide who's going home. It's well, I thought what she said in tribal made her look just like kind of dumb too. just whatever she said. So I'm like, I feel like she's getting voted out. Yeah. Tribal council number one, uh, Noel. This was kind of talked about on the beach a little bit, but we didn't know how it, the follow through was going to occur. She steals Owen's vote. Is she going to go with what she had told Owen and use this as kind of a red herring so that the other advantage is not played and that they're able to go after James? Or is she just going to do this to ensure that maybe Owen goes home and that maybe she was gotten to? The trick worked. Uh, James did not play his advantage he was eliminated he was definitely pissed do we know why she used it to make sure that he didn't play his advantage well didn't she say to him that she was going to vote for owen yeah yes. vote for so what, owen what? so also as backup there's a, like kind of a show of unity and show of like a, like allegiance she I was mean, going to steal his vote to ensure their win but that means, see that, okay, so that makes no sense. When this happened yeah. in the episode, I was like, w- like, there is no reason to steal anybody's vote and I waste agree. advantage because you're just, you, it, he really is just relying on your word regardless. Yeah, why didn't she just turn on him vote. and vote for him? Was so, it just a user. double and sure? Was she thinking that it wasn't a one vote thing? Like maybe she needed the two to get it? Like, I don't, I don't they know. didn't need two votes. It would have been yeah. everyone against Owen. And yeah, Owen it's an interesting one. Vote. Oh, yeah, because it could have been I three on two. Yeah, that's what I, I mean. Somewhere it make that sense. was too, like two part. Where apparently James could have played his advantage after. I don't think it's like that or something. That that's what some I heard. I don't think else you can that. do. You can't use that after you voted. 
I think like if she stole James's vote, I don't know. It, it would confusing. have to be pre-voting. Yeah, he would have had to open like his mouth first. You can use a title before he reads the votes. So if it was that, I would understand. But it didn't. It wasn't like I it just. I didn't understand that at all. Yeah, and then so I heard heard elsewhere it was like because if if they steal Owen's vote, he can't use the shot in the dark. So maybe that's why she did it. Oh, so you're, okay. So you're thinking that because it would have been a vote that wasn't used for James. Yeah, but he I never mean, even alluded at that. The they only they the ones that put that in, in the air. Really, the only incentive to do it would have been to make James not use his own advantage at, against somebody. But like, I don't feel like he would have anyways. He wasn't in. He would. He never. They never showed anything on the show where he was worried about that. No, he was. He was definitely surprised by the vote. I think she just wasted it. Honestly, yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah, it's interesting. I wasn't thinking of that really going in, but uh, definitely a lot of thought there now. Uh, the other one's really pretty straightforward. Cassidy play worked, worked out for her. Like Brian said, Brian should have been someone that probably should have been eliminated already. In his opinion, Brett kind of differs, but Ryan is out. So we have three members of the jury already. Uh, Janine, James, and Ryan. It's going to be a really interesting jury so far. It's a lot of scorned people. Yeah, I guess what I would mean by that is like, I just don't think Janine going home was like, they made it sound like she's just, I don't think she was a threat in any form. No, but I think she's scorned, which I like. Yeah, no, she can be scorned, but I, wasn't Ryan the target also in the votes last week? Yeah, I mean, he was like the herring. So, yeah, I just, I don't know. I just, remember these are great players. Right. I think last thoughts on Survivor. Survivor? Um, I, just, I thought they were going to take out Cassidy based off like some of the stuff she got this episode. Yeah, but, I, agree. Um, I feel like they should have. I feel like they should have gotten rid of her instead of She's Ryan. You remember they said like if James is gone, then they can get rid of Ryan. If right or was it Cassidy? I think it was Cassidy. Yeah, well, Ryan oh, James anyway. stayed. Yeah, so that's why I just I don't know. It's just a mess. I am curious to see how things realign a little bit next week. I am now with back to one tribe next week, presumably. I do want to see now, like, post those votes, like, how much time they spend dwelling on what happened and who just, like, will that three, the Gabler three stay together? Because that could be a great three. I think so. I think the two, Cody, dudes, Gabler, and. Yeah, because Cody and Jesse, everyone's and Jesse. trying to see that they're starting to make moves. Cody, so, Gabler, Jesse is a solid three to. Well, I, I, I thought it was Owen, Sammy, Gabler. Because they were all in the same yellow tribe. I feel like I heard or saw in the episode that Sammy might be basically aligning there. with Carla to then, because he he wants to take out Owen and Noel. Because like, or Cody Jesse alliance, I have written. I feel like Owen and Noel are still on the bottom. Like Carla and Sammy aren't aligning with Noel and Owen. They just use them for the vote. Because yeah. he, I think he even said that, that he's like, oh, we can deal with them later. They're they're worthless. They're we're gonna make her burn her advantage for no reason. And then they're sitting ducks if we want to take them out. Sammy's yeah. definitely playing the game too. He is always thinking about he's a shifting alliance person. He will not stay with somebody, which again, survivor. I'm not like annoyed. I'm just Yeah, don't be offended by what the show has been for 40 years. People are gonna lie to you. It's the point of the show. I, like I feel like sometimes people lie for no reason though. No, like, they definitely do. They definitely lie. They overcomplicate it. Yes. They just do it just to do it and say they're doing something. Yeah. I'm playing the game. Yeah, no, it's all about making a big move, and it's like you need to I make that big, big move, move at the right time. Yeah, the big move is doing what like Cody and Jesse are doing and staying thick as thieves, and then taking yes. the other one, out, taking each other out at the very end, yes. so that they can claim yeah. all the credit. Yes, for sure. Yes, um, I thought this was an improvement episode for sure. I thought it was one of the better ones of the season, so I am looking forward to next week. Uh, especially as some of our other shows will be winding down. It would be hoped to have some good final weeks of Survivor to, to make up for some of the gaps in the other content, which would be really cool. Uh, make sure you checked out the first half, if you haven't, of the of this video with the challenge. We're going to combine them each week. We have a lot of videos coming to the channel, even some new additional shows. So trying to combine some ones together, that makes sense so that we're not overwhelming day to day and everyone gets a chance to see all of the awesome content. Check us out on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter, really anywhere you find us. Even our personal stuff is usually listed here in the video descriptions. But for myself, Brian, Brett, thank you. Peace.